This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Well, good morning and welcome to High Climber Field on the campus of Shelton High School. It's Mason Web TV powered by HCC provides another broadcast of high school spring sports. Today it's non-league baseball with the Shelton High Climbers hosting the North Kitsap Vikings. I'm Diedrich Allen and you are watching the Maple Glen Senior Living pregame show. High Climbers come into the game with a 4-1 and one record. Shelton's game at Lakes yesterday was postponed, so the Climbers are coming off Wednesday's 4-1 to one win over North Thurston. The Vikings are undefeated in four games this season. North Kitsap is coming off yesterday's 15-2 to two win over Squim. The teams played each other almost a year ago, with uh, the Vikings winning 12-4 on March 25th, 2017. Coming up on the Maple Glen Senior Living pregame show, we have lineups and the first pitch. It's non-league high school baseball, the North Kitsap Vikings at the Shelton High Climbers next on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. There's a lot going on these days at Maple Glen in Shelton. Maple Glen has a Sunday brunch, open to the community with free admittance when you schedule a tour. What a great way to learn more about this beautiful senior living community. Maple Glen Senior Living, located just 20 minutes north of Olympia at 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. They're just feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Contact Teresa Gilman at 360-427-0300 to learn more and schedule a visit to Maple Glen. It may not seem fast or close to you, but a hundred times a day we leave our office and put ourselves only a door away. An average of two patrol cars are struck and one trooper injured every month. It's Washington law that you slow down or move over when you see emergency lights ahead. We ask that while we're out here getting you and your family home safe every night, you help us get home safe to our families. Slow down and move over. Neighbors help each other. It's how community works. And it's how we do business at Hood Canal Communications. We know you count on us for value-priced internet, TV, and phone service, backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected while being a good neighbor. We're back at High Climber Field, ready for some uh, non-league baseball. The Shelton High Climbers hosting the uh, North Kitsap Vikings. We're about ready for this national anthem, so we will step aside and we'll come back with the starting uh, lineups. In just a moment, this is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Frustrated by rising cable prices? You're not the only one. As your local cable TV provider, we work hard to give you the channels you want to watch the local news, enjoy family night, and cheer on your favorite sports team. We also fight to keep your rates fair, but at the negotiating table, large corporate broadcasters demand higher fees for their programming. As TV viewership goes down, broadcast rates continue to go up. It's not fair. None of us should cover their losses. Visit keeptheconnections.com for more information on how we're working for you. I'm Deputy Steiner with the Grace Harbor County Sheriff's Office. Washington's new distracted driving law is now in effect. This new law significantly changes how you can use your cell phone while driving. Here's what you need to know. It is now illegal to hold your cell phone while driving, even when stopped in traffic or at a traffic light. This law includes all electronic devices, such as cell phones, tablets, laptops, and video games. No typing messages or accessing information. No watching videos or using the camera. You can use your device if you are hands-free and can start use by a single touch or finger swipe. 
if you are parked or out of the flow of traffic, or contacting emergency services. With this new law, you will need to start GPS or music before you drive. The fine for a cell phone violation is $136, $234 for the second offense, and these tickets will now be reported to insurance companies. We see firsthand the results of distracted driving. Focusing on the road instead of your phone will save lives and reduce serious injuries. On the road, off the phone, it's the law. For more information, visit wadrivetozero.com. There's a lot going on these days at Maple Glen in Shelton. Come see for yourself by scheduling a tour to view apartments, the beautiful surroundings, activities, and the signature dining room. Maple Glen Senior Living Community, located just 20 minutes north of Olympia at 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. They're just feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Contact Teresa Gilman, 360-427-0300 to learn more about this exciting living community. And we're back here at High Climber Field, about ready to get the first pitch on the mound for the High Climbers is going to be Falcon Maximilian uh, Johnson. Uh, and the, uh, the catcher is uh, Matt Osberg. But for the Vikings, they're going to be leading off with uh, Max Larson. Uh, he plays at uh, second base, followed by Isaac Richardson. And he's out in center field. The designated hitter for the Vikings is Kyle Green, Tucker Gow uh, Gowan is uh, batting fourth. He's the catcher for North Kitsap. Zach Meeks uh, over at uh, first base. Peter Kloss in uh, right field. Logan uh, uh, Chemilski uh, is the pitcher for the Vikings. And Ryland Schmidt and Josh Fisher round out uh, the uh, batting order for North Kitsap. For the high climbers, Wade Smotherman playing in left field. He'll lead things off. Caleb Hitzman batting second at first base. Brendan uh, Ingstrom, shortstop, is at third. And Falcon Johnson is uh, the fourth batter. And here we go for uh, some baseball. This after, this morning, I should say, here on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. So as mentioned, Max Larson leads things off for uh, North Kitsap. Undefeated on the season so far. Strike one is called. From Falcon Johnson. That was a ball, wasn't it? Yes, it was a ball. One and one. Next pitch. That one skipped to uh, Osberg, so it's uh, two and one. Lead off batter here for uh, North Kitsap, Max Larson. He'll belt one. A quick throw over to first and one away for North Kitsap in the first. And that'll bring up Isaac Richardson. With one out for North Kitsap here in the top of the first. First pitch. That one skips to Osberg. Good stop there. Ball one. Uh, high ball two. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our broadcast. Those of you just joining us had a little bit of a late start. Uh, trying to make this field playable, actually. There's a uh, belt. Going to be going into uh, 
right field, and there's a leadoff, or not a leadoff, the second batter is on base. So one out, one on for the Vikings. That'll bring up Kyle Green, designated hitter. That's ball one taken. Strike one called. So one out, one on. We've got the Richardson over on first base. I throw over to first, and Richardson slides in head first safely. Pitch to the plate. That one's popped up. And go out there to. Uh, Shallow center, and that's two away for the Vikings now. And that will bring up Tucker Gowan. Another throw over to first, and Richardson is back safely. There's a foul tip. So that's 0 and 1 to Tucker Cowan. Catcher for North Kitsap. That was high. Somehow that's a strike. As uh, Gowan took a duct for that one, but he still hit the uh, strike zone. So 0-2, one on, two away for North Kitsap. Falcon Johnson to the plate. Swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. So one hit, one left. No score. We head to the uh, bottom of the first. Shelton is due up. We'll be right back. This is Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Other TV providers force you to sign a long-term contract. Then you're stuck with years of second-rate service. Hood Canal Communications delivers stunning HD, plus bundled savings on super-fast internet and home phone with no long-term contract. It's all backed by an exceptional team of local service professionals. No contracts, no nonsense, just great service. Don't get stuck with a contract. Visit hcc.net to learn more. Slow down. Slow down and move over. And move over. When you see lights, vests, or reflectors, please give us some room. Slow down and move over. When you need us, We've got your back. Do you have ours? You got our back? You got ours? You got our back? Please, slow down. And move over. Bottom of the first inning, no score. Shelton will be sending up a Wade Smotherman, Caleb Hitzman, and Brendan Ingstrom to uh, lead this uh, inning off. And the pitcher is uh, Shamil Sluski. I'm gonna get that right eventually in this ball game. Feel a little bit wet this morning. Black Climbers did a good job trying to get this thing ready. They did have to delay things a little bit. That's why we're only in the first inning. So Wade Smotherman waiting for the first pitch here. It's a strike 
one. They pop up. That one's going to be out of play into the dugout on the, the third base. Line, so 0 and 2, two way to lead things off for the high climbers here. Bottom of the first inning. High climbers having a good start to this year, 4 and 1. The uh, Vikings 4 and 0. Always a threatening powerhouse out of the Olympic League from Paul's bow. The 0-2 pitch. That was a ball. Just outside. One and two. And that one skips to the catcher. Two and two. Next pitch. That one's low. Nice eye on that one. He was going to swing for the fences on that. The whole full count now to Wade Smetherman to lead things off here in the bottom of the first inning. And there's a swing and a miss and a dropped third strike, and that's a throw out. So one away for the uh, high climbers here. And that'll bring up Caleb Hitzman. That was inside in the low, ball one. Now it's a strike. One and one to Hitzman. On deck is Brendan Ingstrom. And that was ball number two. Two and one is the count. That one nearly hit some toes there. Three and one is the count. One away. No score. And that's ball number four. So Hitzman heads for first on a walk. So one out, one on. And that will bring up Hangstrom. Short stop. That is a uh, hit into right field. And yeah, runners at uh, second and third on a double by Engstrom. And that brings up Max. Maximilian Falcon Johnson, the pitcher for the High Climbers. One out, two on for Shelton. Runners at uh, second and third. Hitzman at third. Engstrom at second. First pitch to Falcon. Shows bunt, pulls it back, but strike one called. Throw over to third, and hits Vince back safely. Runners do take their leads. There's a grounder 
That one's going to be foul. Nice one-handed grab by Coach Winans over there. It's 0-2 to uh, Falcon Johnson. And time is called. So 2 to Falcon, 2 on, runners at 2nd and 3rd for the High Climbers, 1 away. That's ball number 1, 1 and 2. Pretty quiet for a Saturday morning in baseball. And you got Hitzman at 3rd, Ingstrom at 2nd. Falcon Johnson, Falcon Max Johnson, at the batter. And it takes ball two. Two and two is the count. One away, by the way. No score, bottom of the first inning. A little delayed start as he worked on this field. Make sure we had a good field to play on today. There's a belt. It's going to go into center field. One run will score. And two runs will score. And safe at uh, first base with a two-run single is Max Falcon. And a courtesy runner for Johnson is going to be Josh Deemer. He's over first. So two in, one away. That brings up uh, Trey Denning. And the high climbers are up two to nothing here. I have to change my scoreboard. First pitch to Denning is outside, swinging out. Johnson stole or went for the ball, went for second on that throw. And gets into uh, second safely on the strike. So it's 0-1 with the runner now. It's Deemer over in the scoring position at second. Swing and a pop-up. Uh, that playable? Nope. It's heading for the uh, mini dome behind third base. Out of play. So 0-2. One away, one on, and two in for the high climbers here at the bottom of the first inning. The pitch, that's low. Ball one. One and two is now the count to Trey Denning. They throw to second, and Deemer's back safely. So again, two runs are in, one out, one on for the high climbers. So one and two count. There's a ground ball over to third. Throw to first is in time, and then over on the other side, Deemer makes it over to third safely, avoiding the tag. So there's two outs. Two are in, however. And that'll bring up designated hitter Nathaniel Farr. So two away, two in, one on for the high climbers. Lead two to nothing here in the uh, bottom of the first inning. There's a pop up. And third baseman will go in and glove that one. And that'll end the inning, but the damage has been done. Shelton scores two on two hits. Leaves one. We'll head to the second. Shelton up, two to nothing.
there's so many great things about life in Mason County. And Hood Canal Communications is proud to be one more. Headquartered in Union, we offer the speed and reliability your family needs, backed by hometown service and support. Whether you need to just check email or power all those Wi-Fi devices around your home, HCC has the right package for you. Stop by one of our friendly offices, call or visit hcc.net to learn more. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected. Top of the second inning to nothing, Shelton. And the, uh, there's a uh, pop up to lead things off here. It's going to go to center field and one away as the batter was uh, Zach Meeks, and he popped out to uh, Max Johnson in center field. So one away quickly for the uh, Vikings, trailing by two here. And the batter now is Peter Kloss. Pick strike one. Falcon Johnson taking his time, goes to the plate with the pitch. There's a swing and a foul tip off the back screen. So 0-2, oh one away, nobody on for the Vikings here in uh, the uh, second inning, trailing by two runs. And that pitch was high. Ball one, one and two. Another ball. Two and two is a count. One out, nobody on for the Vikings. Top of the second inning. Pitch to the plate. That was low, ball three. So full count to uh, Peter Kloss. There's a uh, line drive. It's gonna get by, it's gonna get by uh, uh, Smotherman, but uh, gloved by, uh, actually it was Smotherman who picked it up, threw it over to uh, uh, Falcon Johnson, covering first, and that's out to number two for the Vikings here in the second. And that brings up, that's going to be, uh, I'm sorry, that's not the pitcher. Can't see his number. What oh, is the pitcher? <laughs> okay. Logan Chamalewski. And takes a ball one. And that one's a strike, so strike one. So one and one for Logan. Two away and nobody on for the Vikings here. Pitch to the plate. There's a ground ball. Chopper to second. Throw to first in time. And that'll end the inning. Nice glove work by Engstrom to Hitzman. And down go the Vikings with uh, one, two, three. In the second, we head to the... Uh, Bottom of the second, Shelton up two to nothing. There's a lot going on these days at Maple Glen in Shelton. Come see for yourself by scheduling a tour to view apartments, the beautiful surroundings, activities, and the signature dining room. Maple Glen Senior Living Community, located just 20 minutes north of Olympia at 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. They're just feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Contact Teresa Gilman, 360-427-0300 to learn more about this exciting living community. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. 
Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. And the bottom of the second inning. High climbers up uh, two to nothing. If I got this right, it's uh, who's due up? No, it's yes, it's Max Johnson, uh, Osberg, and Ty Smotherman are due up here this inning. Center field is Max. Takes strike one. That's ball one. A one and one to Max Johnson. Center fielder today. Pitched a complete game on Wednesday. Did a great job. That's a strike. One ball, two strikes to Max Johnson, leading off this second inning for the high climbers. Up two to nothing. There's a, a oh line drive right over to third base. And Schmidt will just glove that one, and that's a one away for the uh, high climbers here. And that'll bring up a Matt Osberg, catcher. Takes ball one. Next pitch. The grounder that gets uh, through the hole between the second and third. But the throw over to first is in time to get Osberg two away. And that brings up Ty Smotherman. So two down, nobody on for Ty. Takes a strike straight down the middle there. Own one. Pitch to the plate. There's a line drive foul. That's 0-2. the 0-2 pitch. Another pop foul. That one's behind the screen. Out of play. 0-2. The count remains. Two away. Nobody on for the high climbers here. Bottom of the second inning. Shelton leads. 2-0. There's a shallow fly ball that's going to drop into uh, right field. Making his way to second and holding up there is uh, Ty Smotherman with a uh, two-out single here. And that should bring up Wade Smotherman, top of the order for 
the High Climbers. Two away here. In the uh, bottom of the second inning. High Climbers have a runner on first. Looking to add on to their lead as Wade Smotherman, who uh, struck out in the first. Tide takes a little bit of a lead. Throw to the plate. That one's fouled off. Oh, one. one Throw over to first, and Wade is dives back safely. So no balls, one strike to uh, Wade Smotherland. Ty, uh, Ty Smotherman is on first play base. And pitcher looks back, takes some time there. Another foul ball out of play. So that's 0 and 2 to Wade Smotherman. Throw over to first. And ties back. Safely. So two is the count to Wade Smotherman. Pitch the plate. That's ball number one. One and two is the count. One on, two out for Shelton here. Bottom of the second inning. Two nothing lead for the high climbers. to the plate. That one bounces. Ty slides in safely to second on the steal. So it's two and two to Wade Smotherman. Lead, uh, the leadoff batter, top of the order. I should say not the leadoff batter, but the top of the order. So two out and two, uh, one on in a 2-2 two -two count to Wade Smotherman. Pitch to the plate. That one's belted. Out to right field, that one's caught. And that'll be the end of the inning. High Climbers leave one. They head to the third, still Shelton up. Two nothing. What do you think it would be like to teach? Chances are, you have no idea. Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, proving that greatness can be found in everyday places, and that you don't need to be famous to be unforgettable. That's what it's like to teach. Emerging science indicates access to high-speed internet during the school years can lead to positive outcomes, including, but not limited to, streamlined acquisition of data, academic achievement, career advancement, satisfying relationships, cuter children, joy. Our scientific conclusion? Call now and get the HCC Internet and Voice Bundle for the everyday low price of $44.95. Call today and save. Top of the third inning, and there is a uh, quick little hit. And it's uh, one out, line drive out. <laughs> Some question there. Yeah. 
Yep, and you're going to call the line drive file up, line drive out there. So one away for the Vikings out the first pitch. And that was uh, Schmidt. Brings up Josh Fisher. I believe that was a ball. Yep, it was. And a strike one called there. One and one, one out, top of the third inning for uh, North Kitsap, trailing two to nothing to the Shelton. We're at uh, High Glamour Field. That's a late called strike two. So one and two. That's ball there, a little high, ball two. Two and two is the count, one away, nobody on for North Kitsap. Another one high. Count is now full. To Josh Fisher. Now it's popped up. And Ingstrom gonna glove that one. Two away now. Now bring up the uh, top of the order, Max Larson for North Kitsap. He grounded out in the first. And he took a ball there. And a strike. One and one. Larson. Ooh, that's a strike number two called there. Next pitch. Yeah, that one's high ball two. Two and two. Two out, nobody on for North Kitsap. Yeah, that's ball number three. Three and two now. Next pitch. Strike three called. And that ends the inning. So we head to the bottom of the third. Shelton up. Three to nothing. There's a lot going on these days at Maple Glen in Shelton. Come see for yourself by scheduling a tour to view apartments, the beautiful surroundings, activities, and the signature dining room. Maple Glen Senior Living Community, located just 20 minutes north of Olympia at 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. They're just feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Contact Teresa Gilman, 360-427-0300 to learn more about this exciting living community. I admit, I did try another TV provider. It sounded like a great deal, but I quickly realized it wasn't. When I read the fine print, I was locked into a long-term contract with a huge cancellation fee. So I came back to HCC. They're more reliable, the service is local, and I save bundling internet and phone with them too. And I'm a lot happier now. Great service from a local company. Stay with HCC. New pitcher for uh, North Kitsap here, bottom of the third inning. Number nine, that is Chris Schuchart, sophomore. And he will face, let's see, where did I leave off here? Oh, Hitzman, Engstrom, and Falcon Johnson. Unless there's a change in the lineup. 
No, nope, there isn't. Hits middle head out there. Shelton up, two to nothing. Caleb had a base hit. No, he walked in the first, excuse me. Took a strike one, though. Strike two called right at the shoulders. 0 oh and 2 to Hitzman. Shoot chart. Next pitch, there's a grounder foul. Count remains 0 oh and 2 to Caleb Hitzman. He's over at first base, and he, again, he walked in the first inning. His first at bat. Next pitch. That one's popped up. And that one's going to be gloved. Oh, it looks like it was, um, who was that? Richardson took that one. One away for the high climbers here in the third. And brings up Angstrom. Now, Angstrom had a, a double. The first takes a strike one, however. Next pitch. That one's knocked a line foul. Third base. 0 and 2. Two is the count. Two, uh, sorry, one out for the high climbers here in the third. Next pitch, strike. That was like a curveball. And down goes uh, Ingstrom. Two away now for Shelton. And brings up uh, Falcon Johnson, pitcher for. The high climbers. He had a uh, two-run single in the first inning to give the high climbers their two-run lead. Takes ball one. Two away now. Nobody on. That's ball two. Quickly ahead in the count is uh, Falcon. Next pitch. That one's belted to center field. And that is gloved there. Three down. So one, two, three go to the high climbers in the third. We head to the fourth. Shelton's still up. Two to nothing. This is your brain, this is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why is, is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead.
top of the fourth inning. Shelton up two to nothing. On North Kitsap uh, Vikings. And uh, leading things off here for North uh, Kitsap is Isaac Richardson, followed by Kyle Green and Tucker Gowan. First pitch. That one gets by Osberg. Ball one. Hots will come in here, but I don't believe it's, is it starting to rain now? It is starting to rain now. Okay. There's a strike called. So one and one to Richardson. That ball is in the dirt. Two and one. Thought maybe we would get miss the uh, weather, but looks like we're going to get some. <laughs> the two, one pitch. And again, bounces to Osberg. Three, one, one. Umbrellas are out for some of those. And if they uh, come to see, if they watch the game. Next pitch. That one's popped up. That one's hooking. Fair. It's a fair ball. And a throw over to first. That gets by Smotherman. It kind of bounced, took a bounce, and there is a uh, one on. Nobody out here. Brings up Kyle Green. Takes Paul one. Nobody out here, one on for North Kitsap. Runner over at second. The 1-0 pitch to Green. Designated hitter for the Vikings. Belted. That one's fair. Straight up the middle. Runner's going to make it in and score there. So one is in. And nobody out here for the Vikings. And that brings up Tucker Gowan. Pitch to plate. Outside ball one. He takes a strike. One, one, and one. Runner at first, nobody out here. Rain is falling here at High Climber Ball Field. There's a pop-up, playable. Osberg gets under it, shifts over, towards the out. So that's uh, one away for the Vikings here. That'll bring up uh, Zach Meeks, or Meek, I should say. Takes strike one. That pitch is high, ball one, one, and one. One out, one in, one on for the Vikings here in the fourth. That one's belted foul. So one and two now. Kyle Green over at first. The one two pitch. That one's popped up.
And that'll bring up Kloss, Peter Kloss. He takes a strike one. Oh, and one is the count. One on two away for the Vikings. One in. That's strike two. Oh, and two. Next pitch. That one's high ball, one. One and two. One on, two out, one in for the Vikings here in the fourth. Falcon Johnson to the plate, there's a grounder. It's gonna be gloved, throw to first. And that'll end the inning, but one run is in. One left for the Vikings, and the score is now two to one. We'll be right back. There's a lot going on these days. There's a lot going on these days at Maple Glen in Shelton. Maple Glen has a Sunday brunch, open to the community with free admittance when you schedule a tour. What a great way to learn more about this beautiful senior living community. Maple Glen Senior Living, located just 20 minutes north of Olympia at 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. They're just feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Contact Teresa Gilman at 360-427-0300 to learn more and schedule a visit to Maple Glen. Vehicle collisions are the number one killer of teens in the U.S., taking eight young lives every day. And speeding is a factor in more than half of teen fatal car crashes, but we can prevent these tragedies. Talk with your teen about staying safe behind the wheel. Remind them to follow the speed limit and adjust their driving for road conditions. Keep the conversation going and be the driver you want your teen to be. It's not just good parenting. It's a matter of life or death. Bottom of the fourth inning. High climbers are going to send up uh, Denning, Farr, and Max Johnson as they now lead by one. So Trey Denning, right fielder. Ground out in the first. Takes ball number one. Yeah, swing and a miss on that one. One and one. Inside ball two. Two and one. Pitch. Now it's ball number three. Three and one is the count. Lead off batter for the high climbers here in the fourth. And that's a walk. Lead off walk, give it up. So one on for the high climbers, nobody out. Uh, Nathaniel Farr is a batter. It's a grounder to third. That's why we run it out. And he dropped it and when I got by him. So that's a uh, error. But we have two uh, base runners for the high climbers as far as on. Off an error. And nobody is out. That'll bring up Max Johnson. Shows bunt. Pulls back. Takes ball one.
So two on and nobody out for the high climbers. Batters Max Johnson. Pitch to the plate. Takes a strike. One and one. We've got Denning over on second, far on first. And the batters Max Johnson has a one one count pitch to the plate. The lat side. Runners hold. Two and one now. On deck is Matt Osberg. There's pitch at the plate. It's high. Ball three. Three and one now. Two one, Shelton leads. Got two on, nobody out. Three balls, one. Strike, make that two strikes. Got a piece of that one, however. So count is full. Osberg on deck, Ty Smotherman to follow. There is nobody out. Throw over to second. Everybody gets back safely. Nope, they're gonna call a balk on that one. Everybody advances a base. So now you have Denning at third, Far at second. First is open. And have a 3-2 count to Max Johnson. That one's popped up. Is it playable? No. Remains three and two. Full count, nobody out to two on for Shelton. Bottom of the fourth. Pitch to plate. There's a blooper that's going to drop in to center field. One run will score. Two runs will score. And. There's a, a 4 1 margin. So the high climbers have extended their lead to 4 to 1. And that brings up Matt Osberg. He grounded out in the second inning. Swing and a miss, and if going over to second, trying to pick him off. Runner is safe, so uh, Johnson's over second. And it's 0-1 to Osberg. Pitch play has popped up. Playable. Oop. So and two. Nobody out. Two runs are in. One runner is on base over at second. Max Johnson. And the 0 2 count to Matt Osberg. That's ball one. One and two. Out, out to center, shallow center. That's caught. It makes one away. Johnson holds over there and to second. And that will bring up Ty Smotherman. Had a single in the second. One out, two in, one on for the high climbers, leading 4-1, bottom of the fourth inning. There's a 
Scheiße, war ein Verhau. Rain, rain, lighting up a little bit here, the rain is. Got an 0 1 pitch, one away, one on, two in for Shelton. There's a ball there. One and one is the count. Ty Smotherman on uh, at bat. Wade Smotherman is due up. Pitch to the plate. That's high. Ball two. Two and one. Pitch to the plate. That well outside, ball three, three and one. Next pitch. And that's ball four. So Ty Smotherman draws a walk and there's two on with one out and two in for the high climbers, and that'll bring up Wade Smotherman, top of the order. Wade struck out in the first, popped out in the second. His first pitch, outside ball one. One ball, no strikes, timeout called. And let's see, it looks like the rain has really let up a lot. We have a timeout on the field here. So we're going to talk things over to uh, pitcher uh, Chris Shoe Chart, if I got that right. Sophomore. Calm things down. Two runs are in, one out, and two on for the high climbers here in the fourth inning. Looking to add on, they have runners at first and second. Max Johnson over at second and Ty Smotherman at first. Wade Smotherman the batter has a one ball no strike count. Pitch. That one's off the screen foul. One and one. That one gets away, and the runners are going to advance based on a pass ball. So Johnson moves over to third. Uh, Ty moves over to uh, second, and it's 2-1 the count. High climbers have already put two in here in this inning. One away, and again, two are on. Wade Smotherman. Swings at one, hits a little bit off the end of the bat. And that's strike two, the count is, full, uh, count is even, excuse me, and to two and two. Pitch is popped up. Into center field, that's one away, tagging up and scoring is Johnson, and that's so one, he, that's another run in, that's three. But two are down, and one in, and another one in, and with one remains on. And that will bring up Caleb Hitzman. Takes ball one. Next pitch. That one's popped out, belted deep. And that'll end the inning. 
So the High Climbers leave one, get three, increase their lead now. It's four to one. We'll head to the fifth inning. Shelton up four to one. Frustrated by rising cable prices? You're not the only one. As your local cable TV provider, we work hard to give you the channels you want to watch the local news, enjoy family night, and cheer on your favorite sports team. We also fight to keep your rates fair, but at the negotiating table, large corporate broadcasters demand higher fees for their programming. As TV viewership goes down, broadcast rates continue to go up. It's not fair. None of us should cover their losses. Visit keeptheconnections.com for more information on how we're working for you. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. Top of the fifth inning, North uh, Kitsap is the uh, his pitcher, um, Chris Schuchart, to lead things off, followed by Schmidt and Fisher. He takes a strike one. Yes, he does. Next pitch gets away from Osberg. That's ball one, though. It's a one on one. Pitch outside, ball two. Sorry, that's two and one. I've got that wrong. Next pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Oh, I've got that wrong. It's five to one. I'm wrong. That's right. The that high climbers have five. And down goes shoe chart. So one down for the Vikings here in the fifth inning. Schmidt takes strike. And a strike two called there. Oh, two. Rain picks up a little bit. Next pitch. ball. One and two now. Swing and a miss there. And down goes Schmidt. That'll bring up Josh Fisher. That one's popped up. Yeah, that's a home run. And there's a home run by Josh Fisher. Getting one back here. It's only the third hit by my count that uh, Falcon Johnson has given up here. And there's two away and one in in the fifth inning for the Vikings as the rain continues to fall down. I got a camera out there in the, wa in the weather. <laughs> Not the greatest idea. 
So that one just hit the fence and dropped over here in uh, right field. So two are down, one is in for the uh, Vikings. North Thurston after the home run by Josh Fisher. To get a run back, this is five to two now. And that'll bring up the top of the order. Max Larson struck out in the second. Ground out in the first, takes a strike one. It's 0 and 1 to Larson after the home run. Strike two. A little slow on that call. But 0 and 2. That one's a little high. One and two now to count. Two away, one in for the Vikings here in the fifth. Next pitch. That one's way high, a little outside. Two and two now to count. Bases are empty, two out. One run is scored after the home run by Josh Fisher. And there's a foul out of play. Next pitch. There's a swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. We head to the uh, bottom of the fifth inning. As the Vikings get one back, bases are empty, however. And the high climbers still lead five to two. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. I lost my mother to a drunk driver. She taught me to be kind and good and strong. Be a positive force in a sometimes cruel world. I want to do everything I can to keep Washington a beautiful place. For my children, for your children. Become a Washington State Trooper. So the Vikings are going to use another pitcher. This one is going to be uh, Kyle Green, who's been the designated hitter throughout, but now he is uh, pitching for the Vikings. As it's 5-2, to two, the high climbers are going to send up, let's see here, uh, Hingstrom, Johnson, and Denny. I'll do up here in the fifth. The three-run lead for Shelton. Five to two. There's Brendan Ingstrom heading out to lead things off here in the fifth inning. New pitcher out there again, Kyle Green for the uh, for the Vikings from the North Thurston, or North Kitsap, excuse me. Pitch to play. Belted. That one is a single. No, it's not. It's not a foul. It's an out. Sorry. Singstrom is down. First pitch swinging here. One down. And that will bring up Falcon. Johnson. Or Max Johnson. 
Rain stop for the moment. First pitch to Johnson. It's low, ball one. Next pitch. That's a strike at the knees. One and one. Max had a uh, two run single in the first, popped out in the third. And that pitch is ball number two. He's got to two RBIs and he's uh, pitching a three hitter. Here's a pop up. And he popped that one out. It's another out for the high climbers. So two are away. And that'll bring up Trey Dinning, right fielder. Walked in his last at bat in the fourth. Takes a ball high. One ball, no strikes. Nobody on, two are away for the high climbers. Bottom of the fifth. Another one's low. Two and out. If Denning uh, reaches, Nathaniel Farr is due up. It's ball number three. Three and oh. There is a uh, ball number four. So Denning is on. That'll bring up Far. He had a single in his last hand bat. Or is there a change here? Looks like we're going to have a change. Looks like it might be Ramsfield. Nope, it's not. It is. Huh, huh, huh. I don't know who number nine is. <laughs> so it's Mo's all I can tell you right now. Two out, one on, swing and miss. Oh, it's uh, Maurice Castro, sophomore. Next pitch to Castro, swing and a miss. So, 0 oh and 2. Five to two, two out, one on. And Maurice Cascadro, here is the batter. The runner on first is uh, Trey Dinning. And the 0-2 count to Castro. There's a blooper that's gonna fall. Nope, it's gonna be caught. And that'll end the inning. So the high climbers leave one. And let's see, that was uh, Denning. We head to the sixth, Sheldon up five to two. There's a lot going on these days at Maple Glen in Shelton. Maple Glen has a Sunday brunch, open to the community with free admittance when you schedule a tour. What a great way to learn more about this beautiful senior living community. Maple Glen Senior Living, located just 20 minutes north of Olympia at 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. They're just feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Contact Teresa Gilman at 360-427-0300 to learn more and schedule a visit to Maple Glen.
Neighbors help each other. It's how community works. And it's how we do business at Hood Canal Communications. We know you count on us for value-priced internet, TV, and phone service, backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected while being a good neighbor. So we head to the top of the sixth inning. Shelton leading five to two. The Vikings uh, do up, let's see here, uh, Isaac Richardson, Kyle Green, and Tucker Gowan are what I have on my sheet. Let's see what, uh, kind of looks like that's what, the, so far, looks like that's what's happening here. There is a, oh, a new pitcher for the uh, high climbers, and that'll be Wade Smotherin. So Falcon went five innings, gave up three hits and two runs in his work. So Wade Smotherman will take over, close this thing out with a 5-2 lead. And let's see here, see what other changes we have. So Wade was in left field to see who's out there now. Looks like it might be Blaine Van Otten. It's now in left field. So the leadoff batter for North Kitsap here is Isaac Richardson. A short stop for North Kitsap. And let's see, Isaacson had a hit in the fourth and a hit in the first. So he's uh, two for two, and I believe he also scored a run. My notes, if I can read my own little writing. As Osberg and Smotherman do some chatting at the mound. As rain is stopped at the moment, hopefully we'll have a break to get the rest of this game in without any sort of, or any more witness. Some discussion with the uh, official scorekeeper for uh, North Kitsap over there between the uh, home plate umpire. Probably did discuss this uh, substitutions. So you've got Isaac Richardson, Kyle Green, and Tucker Gowan due up for the Vikings. Here to lead off the sixth inning. Umpire clearing the plate. And here comes Richardson. Richardson is two for two, again scored a run. He's reached on both of his at-bats previously in this game, first in the uh, fourth. First pitch from Southern South the glove of Osberg. So it's one and oh. Next pitch. Now one skips to Osberg. So it's 2 0. 5 2 is the score. Lead off batter for North Kitsap in the sixth inning. And quickly, Wade is behind the count. 3 0. To Richardson. And there's a strike one. Three and one now. To 
to Isaac Richardson. Shortstop for uh, North. The kids have that one is fouled over our heads. Luckily, we're in a little building here. So the count is full, three and two. The leadoff batter for the Vikings here in the sixth inning. Next pitch, that's a grounder. It's gonna be gloved. And no throw. So uh, Richardson has reached three times. And that will bring up Kyle Green. Yep. And Green has a single in the fourth and ground out in the first. So one on, nobody out for the Vikings here in the sixth inning. First pitch bounces to Osberg. Sorry, I'm on the wrong camera. There we go. So one and zero. Next pitch. This goes ball two. Two and zero. three balls. So one on and nobody out. 3-0 count to Kyle Green. As a ball. So two base runners for North Kitsap here. And Coach Wine is going to go out and talk to uh, Wade Smotherman. And <laughs> that'll pretty much do it for him. So a quick change here. And Ty Smotherman will take over. After two batters are walked, Van Naughton is going to move over to uh, uh, second base. And Wade's going to go back out into uh, left field. So two on, nobody out, and another new pitcher. So we will take a uh, break for that uh, pitching change, and we'll be right back. may not seem fast or close to you, but a hundred times a day we leave our office and put ourselves only a door away. An average of two patrol cars are struck and one trooper injured every month. It's Washington law that you slow down or move over when you see emergency lights ahead. We ask that while we're out here getting you and your family home safe every night, you help us get home safe to our families. Slow down and move over. So after the pitching, uh, pitching change, Ty Smotherman takes over in the mound. Excuse me. And he will uh, face Tucker Cowan. Zach Meek and Peter Kloss are all due up. There are two runners, base runners, uh, Kyle Green at first, Isaac Richardson at second, nobody out, and it is five to two. Shelton with the lead. Vikings trying to get something going here late. Got a home run in the uh, fifth inning with two outs. So we have a new pitcher for the high climbers. This will be the second in the inning, third in the game. It's uh, Wade Smotherman looking in. I'm sorry, Ty Smotherman. Takes in, there's a strike one call. So 
So the next pitch. That one's foul tip. So and two. So two count to Tucker Gowan with uh, nobody out and two on. Top of the sixth inning. Smotherman with his pitch. It's a strike three and down it goes. Gowan one away for the uh, Vikings here. Still two on. And that brings up Zach Meek, first baseman for North Kitsap. And he takes a strike one. Skin runners at uh, second, uh, first and second. One away now for the Vikings. Next pitch. Swing and a miss with a fastball. So that's 0-2. To uh, Meek. Next pitch. Another fast pit ball, but that one's a little outside. Ball one. One and two. One away, two on for the Vikings. Runners at first and second. And the one, two pitch. That one's popped out of play. The third baseline. Count remains one and two. Again, you have uh, that Tucker Gallon. Oh, he's right. It's Kyle Green at first, Isaac Richardson at second for the Vikings. And the ball number two, that one's in the dirt. Two and two is a count now. Next pitch. Ooh, that was a good pitch and they called out a ball. The count goes full. Three and two to Meek. One away, a two on. Next pitch. There's strike three called. Two down, and the second's a strikeout. So two away for the Vikings here, and that'll bring up Peter Kloss. He ground out and flew out. It lined out in his first two at bats. Next pitch. The first pitch, that's strike one. Runners stay second and first, or first and second. The 0 1 pitch from Smothern. Low ball one, one and one. Give me one more here, boys. Let's go. Get us out of here. That was low. Two and one. Yeah, strike. Two and two is the count now. Two out, two on for North Kitsap. And there's strike three call. That'll end the inning. So we uh, head to the bottom of the sixth. Shelton up. Five to two. The Vikings leave two more. That gives them four for the game. We'll be right back. 
Frustrated by rising cable prices? You're not the only one. As your local cable TV provider, we work hard to give you the channels you want to watch the local news, enjoy family night, and cheer on your favorite sports team. We also fight to keep your rates fair, but at the negotiating table, large corporate broadcasters demand higher fees for their programming. As TV viewership goes down, broadcast rates continue to go up. It's not fair. None of us should cover their losses. Visit KeepTheConnections.com for more information on how we're working for you. There's a lot going on these days at Maple Glen in Shelton. Come see for yourself by scheduling a tour to view apartments, the beautiful surroundings, activities, and the signature dining room. Maple Glen Senior Living Community, located just 20 minutes north of Olympia at 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. They're just feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Contact Teresa Gilman, 360-427-0300 to learn more about this exciting living community. So we head to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. Shelton 5-2, the high climbers are facing green still and due up is uh, Max Johnson, Matt Osberg, and Ty Smotherman. However, I think there might be a change in the lineup. As actually leading things off is Dylan Coots. So Coots will lead things off here in the uh, bottom of the sixth inning for the High Climbers. They're leading 5-2. to two. Green still on the mound in relief for the Vikings. Pitch on the way. That's outside. Ball one. 1-0. One Next pitch to the plate. Swing and a miss by Coots. One and one. Little pitch on the way. That one's high outside. Two and one. The count to Coots. Leading things off here for the high climbers in the sixth inning. Pitch on the way. The strike two called there. Two and two. Pitch, swing and a miss, and Coots is out. So one away for the high climbers here. And I'm not sure who this gentleman is. I didn't see his number. One out, nobody on for the high climbers here. Sixth inning, and a strike one called. Trying to find out who this is. Numbers are only on the back of the high climbers. And a strike two called there. Fast ball outside though, ball one, one two. Next pitch, strike three called, and there's two outs for the high climbers. And that'll bring up Ty Smotherman. Still don't know who that batter was. <laughs> So two outs, and the first to pitch to Ty Smotherman is ball. Two away in the bottom of the sixth for the high climbers. They lead five to two. Next pitch. That one's popped up. That one's actually going to be gloved by right fielder. Kloss, and that ends the inning. Okay, so... We head to the uh, top of the seventh inning, 
And the Vikings have three more outs, try to get to three runs to keep the game going. We'll be right back. It's Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. There's so many great things about life in Mason County, and Hood Canal Communications is proud to be one more. Headquartered in Union, we offer the speed and reliability your family needs, backed by hometown service and support. Whether you need to just check email or power all those Wi-Fi devices around your home, HCC has the right package for you. Stop by one of our friendly offices, call or visit hcc.net to learn more. Hood Canal Communications. If you are interested in how our local government works, Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, gives you the opportunity to watch our elected officials in action. Every Tuesday, you can watch the Mason County Commission. These live broadcasts air at 9 a.m., except on the fourth Tuesday of a month when the County Commission meets at 6 p.m. You can also watch the County Commissioners online at your leisure or tune in to a rebroadcast on Hood Canal Communications' local channel. Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is the only place to find this type of in-depth coverage. Top of the seventh here for the Vikings. And let's see who's leading things off as the rain starts to fall again. This is going to be... No, it's going to be a uh, uh, shoe chart. Who struck out in the fourth inning. And Tice Motherman is in there to try to close this thing out as rain starts to fall again. A little light. Actually, we're going to have another lineup change this time for the Vikings. Let's see if we can get this one. As the rain is starting to fall again. Five to two is their score. Last three outs for the uh, Vikings. As Schuchart, Schuchart is going to lead things off here for North Kitsap in the seventh. So although I expect a, pl uh, a change in the lineup, you have Schmidt and Fisher also do up here in the inning. So timeout is called by the batter. First pitch, ball one, one and oh. Ty Smotherman with looking in to get the signs. Here's the stretch the pitch. That's ball one, ball, uh, strike one, I guess. Next pitch on the way. Strike. So actually it's strike one. That was other one was a ball. So it's two balls, one strike. The lead off batter here for North Kitsap. Next pitch. That's a strike now. We're two and two. pitch. There's a nice stop by uh, Hitzman. He'll throw over to Smotherman and that's a one out. Nice play by Hitzman there. Glove that one right fair up the first base line. So one away. So one out for the uh, Vikings here in the uh, seventh inning. Here's a number 20. The first pitch is a ball. Number 20 is Caden Storm. Uh, 
And that one's going to be a throw over to first. And that's two down. So two batters, two outs for the Vikings here in the seventh inning. And that will bring up the, another change in the lineup. I'm thinking that's a five. That is a five. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Number five is Burchill. He swings at the next pitch, and that's quickly two strikes. 0-2. Oh Nobody on, and two are out for North Kitsap here. Looking at a three-run deficit. Next pitch from Sweatherman bounces back in a pass ball, but nobody's on, so everybody's safe. So one and two is the count. To Eric Burchill. There's a swing, and that is, that'll do it. Strikeout number three, or not strikeout, that's third out. So that will pretty much do it for this ball game, and the High Climbers improved five and one. We will take a timeout, we'll be right back and wrap this thing up. I mean, I was just a kid. And you never knew what mood he was going to be in when he came home. It was brutal. My dad, he would come home, and there's one time where... <laughs> Neighbors help each other. It's how community works. And it's how we do business at Hood Canal Communications. We know you count on us for value-priced internet, TV, and phone service, backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected while being a good neighbor. There's a lot going on these days at Maple Glen in Shelton. Maple Glen has a Sunday brunch, open to the community with free admittance when you schedule a tour. What a great way to learn more about this beautiful senior living community. Maple Glen Senior Living, located just 20 minutes north of Olympia at 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. They're just feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Contact Teresa Gilman at 360-427-0300 to learn more and schedule a visit to Maple Glen. There's so many great things about life in Mason County, and Hood Canal Communications is proud to be one more. Headquartered in Union, we offer the speed and reliability your family needs, backed by hometown service and support. Whether you need to just check email or power all those Wi-Fi devices around your home, HCC has the right package for you. Stop by one of our friendly offices, call or visit hcc.net to learn more. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected. If you are interested in how our local government works, Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, gives you the opportunity to watch our elected officials in action. Every Tuesday, you can watch the Mason County Commission. These live broadcasts air at 9 a.m., except on the fourth Tuesday of a month when the County Commission meets at 6 p.m. You can also watch the County Commissioners online at your leisure or tune into a rebroadcast on Hood Canal Communications' local channel. Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is the only place to find this type of in-depth coverage. Okay, we are back here. It's a final. The uh, Shelton High Climbers beat the uh, North Kitsap uh, Vikings 5-2. to two. Let me get a different view here. 
There's the uh, climbers. All right. So the happy totals here for the high climbers. Uh, let's see here, Falcon, Max Johnson, two, for, uh, one for three with two RBIs. Uh, the other Max Johnson uh, was one for two. He also had two RBIs. Uh, Falcon pitched five innings, gave up three hits and two runs uh, for the win there. And Ty Smotherman came in and saved things for the high climbers. So uh, Shelton now improves to five and one on the season. Vikings suffered their first uh, loss. They're four and one. So next up for Shelton, they return to South Sound Conference play at Gig Harbor on Tuesday. North Kitsap will host North Mason on Wednesday. Our next broadcast will be next Wednesday when the High Climbers take on the Tide again in their second uh, South Sound Conference, their, their season conference, uh, season series. And the first pitch Wednesday, weather permitting, is 4 p.m. So that'll do it for us here at uh, High Climber Field. Final again, Shelton 5, North Kitsap. Two. We'll talk to you next week.